and welcome to another edition of Coach's Corner here on ColumbusNewsTeam.com. Time for week 12 edition of the show as the Shamrocks are headed to the state semifinals. With me is head coach Tyler Linder. How are you feeling, coach? You're two wins away from a championship. Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Really excited to still be playing ball, uh, you know, middle of November. All right, well, let's talk about how you've gotten to where you are. You took on Ashland Greenwood at home last week, a team that's made the championship the past two seasons, and you put, took care of them pretty decently. It was 37 to, or 36 to 7 was the score. Um, as we look at some highlights, was that even an outcome you were kind of predicting that strong of a performance? If you ask me at the beginning of the game, I wasn't expecting that. But I think, uh, you know, into the first quarter, as well as our defense was playing, I thought that that could become a possibility, and that's what, what happened on Friday. And the rushing attack strikes again, as you might expect. Jake Boss and Marcus Dodson, we'll see later, just the two fullbacks really getting it done and leading that attack. Yeah, you know, in the previous game against O'Neal, our, our wing backs, kind of our running back types, had, had you know, the games of their lives. And so you knew that, that Ashland was going to try to take those guys away. And the moment that you do, you're kind of picking your poison. And, uh, and Jake and Marcus were able to have, uh, you know, awesome games on Friday night. So really proud of those two guys, but it takes an entire team effort to knock off a team like Ashland Greenwood. You said before the game you weren't necessarily expecting the result you got, so what do you chalk it up to that translated on the field that gave you that score? You know, I think our kids just bought into our coaches' game plans. I think, you know, our special teams played great, and, and, and Ashland had a, had a long field the vast majority um, of the game, and our defense stepped up to the plate, um, held their two really, really talented guys in check with the Nicholson kid who came in averaging like 200 yards a game. We held him to, to less than... 50, I think, you know, and, and then uh, they have the Division One athlete, Ben Stilley, that we were able to kind of keep in check. So our guys did a phenomenal job matching up with their athletes and just going out there and playing ball. And another thing, I, I do remember talking to you prior to the game and you said this was the most focus you'd ever seen your group of guys this season to date. And that's going back to the Bishop Newman game where you said they were super focused. So obviously that translated well. How did you get them into that state of mind or were they just they're on their own accord. You know, it's kind of like dangling the carrot in front of the mule. You know, in order to get it to move, you, 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 you bait it with a little bit of something. And so the bait that we had for our kids is a state championship. And we knew that if we don't take care of business this week, you know, it's win or go home time. So um, our kids are really highly motivated to get themselves to Lincoln. And so that's, uh, you know, that was their motivation on Friday night. How do you feel this performance comparatively to that Bishop Newman game where you won 44 to nothing sort of compares? You know, I think it's, 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 right on par with with the Newman game. I think our kids showed up and executed our game plans extremely well. They showed up focused. You know, we didn't have really a whole lot of mental errors. We kept our penalties in check for the most part. And so, you know, you need you need kind of the perfect storm in order to uh, to come away with a victory against a quality team like Ashland. You know, Coach Thompson has a great club there. Um, they uh, they obviously are doing something right when they've made it to uh, to the playoffs the last several years, the state finals the last couple years, and so they're a very good football team. And and that's just another feather in our cap. I think our boys did a phenomenal job knocking off another quality opponent, Ashland Greenwood. And so with the win, the last time the Shamrocks made the semifinals was 20, 21 years ago. What was that like in the locker room? Did you preach that up at all and say, hey, we're doing something special here? Obviously, we're not satisfied with just the semifinals, but it is kind of cool all the same. Yeah, we, we talked to our guys and we just told them how, how rare of an opportunity this is. You know, SCOTUS football hasn't been here in, in quite a long time. And as a matter of fact, in practice the other day, we were on our, our practice field, which we acquired in, in you know, the early 2000s. And, and I made a note to our guys that, that no SCOTUS football team has ever uh, has has ever practiced after November 9th on this field, and so our kids' eyes kind of lit up, and, and that really shows how special this this group of kids is and the opportunity that they have in front of them. So we're we're telling them to enjoy the ride, make a few memories, and uh, and continue to to battle to play uh, you know late November right before Thanksgiving. And the fact that they are playing on the practice field, what's it like focus-wise? I'm assuming they're all dialed in. How's it been on the practice field? You know, our practices have been great. You know, I think, you know, Mondays are usually a little bit of a lighter day where we do a walkthrough, try to get, you know, kind of, you know, just kind of get them moving after a long weekend off. And we do a lot of film study. So we really just try to bring the mental edge on Mondays. And then Tuesdays are a big practice for us. And, and knowing what the weather was going to be like this week, we had to go a little bit extra long on Tuesday evening. Um, we actually went down to the park and turned the lights on. And, and so that was for our kids to go a little bit later it was it felt like midnight when we were done because it was so dark but had a really really focused practice that I think uh, we learned a lot about so practice has been great but we have to have a couple more you know wonderful practices in order to prepare for for Wilbur all right and speaking of Wilbur a team that comes in undefeated they defeated Central City to make it to this semifinal you've looked at some film on them what do you see from them 
You know, they're a really good football team. They're really big up front. They're not that deep. They play a lot of guys both ways. Um, but their line is their strength. And they also have a, they've got a really talented uh, quarterback in the O'Toole kid. Um, and the Tahovsky kid at the running back is, is also a, a, a really good threat. And so against Central City, they move those guys around a lot. You know, O'Toole would go from quarterback to running back. And so it makes it a little bit of a challenge to prepare for. We got to know where those guys are at on the field at all times. And we just have to keep everything in front of us. And I think if we do that defensively, we're going to be in great shape. But again, Big guys up front, we're going to have to really challenge our guys in the trenches to win the battle up front, and I think that's going to be the difference. If if we can establish our running game and get their big boys moving and push back and, and just kind of win the, you know, the incremental yard, you know, if we go if we go three yards in a cloud of dust all night, I think we're going to be in great shape. So got to play keep away a little bit, um, but I'm excited for the challenge. I know our boys are going to be ready. And do you look back at that game where they played Central City? You handled the Bison pretty well earlier this year, and it was a close affair between Wilbur Claytonia. Do you kind of say, hey, on paper, it looks like we maybe could handle them, or is it all bets are off playoff time? Yeah, it's, it's all bets are off. You know, you could try to compare apples to oranges, but they're apples and oranges. So, you know, the, the team that Central City, you know, brought to the field the other night is completely different than when we played them. You know, game plans are different, strategies are different. Heck, sometimes injuries and rosters and those sorts of things are even different by the time you play later in the season. So, you know, Central City gave them everything that they had. So I think Central City, you know, uh, had a great opportunity to win, um, but Wilbur Claytonia much to their credit, pulled out a, a stunning victory the other night. And so they're going to be, you know, the buzz around their program is is very similar to ours. They haven't been to a state final in a long time. And so we're standing in each other's ways of getting to Lincoln. So they're going to come to Pawnee Park on Friday night and they're going to be highly motivated. So we have to show up with the same focus that we had for Ashton Greenwood in order to uh, to put ourselves in, a, in a, at least a position to be successful Friday night. And how nice has that been that you've been able to play every single game up to this point at home? It's incredibly valuable. You know, our kids are in a comfort zone. We've been uh, we've been kind of you know trying to emphasize playing at seven o'clock. So it's very you know our our pregame routine is the same. And so anytime that our boys can wear the green jersey and they're at home on their home turf, it's a very comfortable feeling. Um, but that being said, there's nothing that makes me comfortable about you know Wilbur Claytonia. And so they're going to come. They do some things that make me on edge as a D coordinator and our offensive coordinator at times is scratching his head because they play phenomenal defense. They're a well-disciplined team. So we're going to have to you know you know lay all of our cards on the table in order to pull out a victory. All right, Coach. Well, as always, wishing you guys the best of luck. A Shamrocks win will get you guys to the state finals. Everybody knows. So good luck Friday kickoff at 7 p.m. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. That's head coach Tyler Linder. I am Brandon Axe, but that wraps up this edition of Coach's Corner. The Shamrocks hosting Wilbur Claytonia for a chance to go to the state playoffs. That game's at Pawnee Park kickoff at 7 p.m. Be sure to be there.